and welcome to AFI Explains. My name is Katie and this is a series where we teach you everything you need to know about the fragrance industry. If you've been on our web store before, you'll know how easy it is to search for fragrance oils using a variety of parameters. You can filter based on product type, flash point, price, and even by certain ingredients. One of these ingredients is vanillin. But what exactly is vanillin? And why is it important to know whether your fragrance contains it or not? Well, let's find out. Vanillin is a chemical compound found primarily in the bean pods of Vanilla planifolia, a species of vining orchids found across the tropical regions of the globe. It's primarily responsible for the sweet and creamy smell associated with vanilla. First extracted in 1858, isolated vanillin takes the appearance of a crystalline white solid, present of about only 2% of vanilla bean pods, which takes months to cure before extraction. Natural vanillin is highly sought after and very expensive. To support the wide-scale production levels of modern fragrance industry, many methods of synthetic reproduction of vanillin have been developed. Vanillin, whether natural or synthetic, is found in many fragrances of a dessert variety among others. Year after year, fragrances of vanilla variety are some of the most ordered products. So why does their vanillin content matter? As vanillin is exposed to the atmosphere and put through the various chemical reactions of the product production, it begins to discolor. Naturally pale in color, the presence of vanillin can turn soaps from other product types from tan to brown over time. Many new soap makers unfamiliar with vanillin become discouraged when their perfectly pale vanilla scented soap darkens over the course of a few days. The same can be said with the soy wax candles made with these fragrances. The color change that vanillin causes is completely natural and has no effect on the smell of the product. Some brands choose to combat the discoloration by using a vanillin colored stabilizer that can prevent it from happening if the vanillin contents of the fragrance is low enough. This can also be done using titanium dioxide pigment, which features a stark white color that may help even out the brownish hues. However, the discoloration is often inevitable when using a fragrance oil that contains high levels of vanillin. As such, many of the brands simply work the brown colors into their design. This works particularly great in swirled mountain pour and cold process soaps. The warm brown color can help provide a look similar to many delectable desserts. Outside of vanillin's propensity to discolor formulations, it can also have an effect on the viscosity of emulsion-based products, like shampoos body washes, conditioners, and lotions. All these use surfactants to combine water and oil-based ingredients. Without the use of enough thickener in these formulas, vanillin can turn them thin and watery. However, unlike this discoloration, this is an easy fix. There are many available thickeners, both natural and synthetic, that can easily combat the viscosity changes caused by vanillin. Because of the aforementioned effects that vanillin have on the formulations, it's important to know that the fragrance oil contains it or not. As such, we include the ability to search for fragrances based on their vanillin content. The presence of vanillin is clearly indicated by the black check mark on all the fragrances available on our web store. If applicable, this allows you to prepare your formulations for any potential discoloration or changes in viscosity. If you're unsure as to whether a fragrance of ours contains vanillin, don't hesitate to give our customer service department a call 770-334-3906 or email us at info at afi-usa.com. We'd be happy to help you on your fragrance journey. Did you already know about vanillin or was this the first time you ever heard about it? Have you ever had a formula go wrong because of vanilla fragrance? Let us know in the comments down below and we'd love to hear your input. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to leave us a like and subscribe to our channel so we can continue to create more content like this. Thanks so much for tuning in. My name's Katie and I can't wait to see you guys next time. Bye!